can you survive in the fire? Well, you can survive in the fire only if you know the drills. Now, if you decide to not to survive in the fire, then that's a problem. See, everybody knows that you have to stop, drop, and roll. Everybody does that. When you caught yourself on fire, like your body's on fire, like you're about to fry yourself into a crispy chicken nuggets, um, and, and it's just a joke, but, but for real, if you turn to a nice fried crispy chicken, you gotta stop, drop, and roll to put the fire away. Some people done that, but some people don't know. Now, if that if that doesn't work, if that don't work, then try to go find some water to basically like if you got a swimming pool trying to put put the fire away. Now, if you try to think about using fire extinguisher then I would be careful with the fire extinguisher sure. see now even though you can't survive the fire I think I told you guys uh, about a year ago or two that you can not survive in the fire but that's not really but you can actually get killed in the fire which everybody knows but I experienced this I think last year um, they show and this was for real situation that when you use a fire extinguisher or any uh, fire hose or whatever then that's called foam now the foam is basically that puts out the fire very quickly it's the strongest one that it easily eliminates the fire but there's a chemical in there a lot of people use that stuff especially firefighters they took the risk of put the fire away with the fire hose now some people believe that they use water hose as for a fact but when it comes to fire, fire extinguisher the fire extinguisher can actually you know put the fire away easily See, water, the water adds up more flames. Now, even though I said before, you can get yourself fired, you can get yourself killed if, you know, flames go any higher. Now, when I say jump in the pool, just trying to get the fire off you, that's what I really meant. But I'm not that big of the type of guy who just be dumb and stuff like that, do the stupid answers, but that's not what I meant. But anyways, if you try to take the fire and try to extinguish it and put it away, watch, like, give me, uh, I'll give you guys an example. So, if somebody was on fire, either I take the water bucket or a fire extinguisher. If I take the fire extinguisher, I spray on the person, that would help. But unfortunately, it might as well just cause some cancer. But I don't know if it's a food, I don't think it's a fact or not, but I'm just, I don't believe in rumors. I really don't. So, you may still survive in the fire. 100%, well, 50%, and there, well, there's one, well, let me think about it. There's a good chance that that you can still survive the fire with the random time, just so you know. But anyways, if you want to survive the fire, then yeah, you can. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to join the Grand Danger Nation crew by subscribe. It's totally free. We're trying to get the 400 subscribers away. Wait for it, get subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.